I mean, living in China as a black man, you might encounter so many discrimination. Uh, my worst one was the day that I was looking for a job and I got there and uh, they told me, hey, we're looking for a black man who looks like Obama. But you don't look like Obama, which means I was darker than Obama, so I don't qualify for the job. I think that was my worst experience. And also, like, when you are in a train or subways or maybe you are in a bus, they will see you and they start running away. You know, like, you want to sit there, immediately they see you there, sit down, they start running away. So that is um, one kind of discrimination that I faced in China. But apart from that, I had a very good experience in China. I think my life in China is actually a testimony. Um, talking about Africa-China relationship, we see it to be a win-win cooperation. But to me, living in China for six years, that is not a win-win cooperation. Our people in here are signing contracts that will benefit their pocket. So China has seen that and they're going to feed you with money because money is not a problem in China. So they're going to pump in money of which they know that if they're giving you $1 billion, at the end of the day, they're going to earn $5 billion. So they don't care. So it's about time the leaders in Africa will think twice and say that we we're going to sign deals that will benefit the people of the continent, but not our pocket. So, I mean, it's not a win-win cooperation. They're actually taking advantage of us. And if you don't take care, they will soon colonize the continent.